Today we traveled up north to Robesonia to this Goodwill. It's been good to me in the past. It's worth the drive. There it is right there. See it? I'm probably also going to tack on some other Goodwill shopping trips that we've taken locally in Lancaster. Hope you enjoy it. And here's the first aisle I walked down. I saw this Starbucks mug. Their Starbucks mugs were priced at $3.99, which I thought was a little high. I like to pay $1.99 at the most. 99 cents is my favorite. I used to pick up a lot of Starbucks mugs when I first started out, but now I'm a little bit more picky about looking up comps, sold comps. This was a nice uh, figurine statue, very tall, perfect for Christmas time. Here was a little rabbit with grapes around it for $2.99. I'm making my way down the aisle. This little figurine caught my eye. It's a rocking chair, but it was a musical, had a music box in it, and I used to knit a lot, so I really uh, thought it was cute, the Holly Hobby vintage feel and her knitting sitting in a rocking chair. Here's an Indianapolis Starbucks mug. You do see me put this in my cart. I wanted to look up comps on it. I uh, do put it back, but I do pick up this Happy Face mug. It was only 99 cents, and I do actually have one of these already for sale in my store, but it, they're just so happy. How can you not? There was uh, probably maybe eight of these Boyd's Bears Fairy figurines. They were all priced at, let's see, $3.99. I used to have this one I, when I was a teacher. I had it in my classroom. And so some of them were out of the box. Some were still in the box. This one you see here, someone had put it on the shelf. And so I looked at it and then pushed it back a little bit because they uh, it would have been smashed to smithereens if it had fallen off the shelf. Then I saw this really cute uh, sugar bowl. I liked its lines. I liked the color on it. And then I realized, wait, I had seen the creamer earlier. So it's not a very high selling brand, but I really like the colors and I thought someone else might like the neutrality of it and the shape of it. And then I looked up on the shelf and I realized there were some coffee mugs. So I grabbed two coffee mugs. There were also some mixing bowls, but those are so big and kind of scary to ship. So I left the mixing bowls there. I also grabbed a covered butter dish. Up next in the yellow aisle was this really cute hand painted chick ceramic figurine obviously a hobbyist piece but I thought it was nicely done and would make a cute decoration around springtime that will be here before we know it here's a card update you can see the covered butter dish in there then we're on the bluish aisle here was some uh, stationery but the stationery is plain just white so I left it there there's a silent butler here, I believe that is. This is Bennington Pottery. These are trigger handle mugs. It looks like I'm ignoring them, but I do in fact picked both of those up. They do sell between $20 to $30. That is a silent butler, right? <laughs> Everyone's gonna say yes or no. Just giving you a look of what else is in the blue aisle. Then opposite the blue aisles the greenish aisle this was a really cute frog had a frog on the back it was a candle entirely made of wax obviously and we have been having such hot weather I would only feel happy about shipping that in the dead of winter when it wouldn't have a chance to melt this was a display for Maggie Moo figurines I recognize this from my Hallmark store days and then here is a pig, and Jenny said that the pig was filling in for the Easter Bunny, so I thought that was pretty cute, and that it needed to go over onto the display. So put him in October. And then strawberries seemed to be popular, and these were some dried silk arrangement leaves with strawberries. And then up here was a cute little Fitz and Floyd Charming Tales some of those, I did look those up when I got home, and some of them do sell well. So I'll have to keep an eye out for those next time. And I did pick these up. These were a little folded over glass. You could put a little votive in there. Simple and sweet. 
and I'm seeing if there's anything else in the bag behind it, and it didn't look very exciting, so I ended up taking the bag in the front. And then we we're almost finished, and this uh, vase I thought was really pretty, it had a nice matte feel, had a nice feel to it, texture-wise. And so I thought, and it was signed, so I thought for $2.99, yes. And then the back wall, their back wall is the red aisle, or as Michael says, the passion aisle. So I'm giving you a look at what's in the red aisle. And this little trinket box caught my eye. It was nicely done. Simple, but well made. The hinge was nice, and the inside looked fairly good. So for $0.99, cents, I took that. Then we're doing one last round. I found another... Starbucks mug. This one is Seattle. $3.99. See, I just can't, can't do it. And then I picked this up. This was a Lennox Butterfly Meadow paper napkin holder. And then we were both wondering, Jenny and I were both wondering, what is this for? Like, there was a dog, I guess... And then there was a food bowl inside it, so you couldn't really put a candle. I don't know. So it went back on the shelf. And then these, uh, I thought the ivy leaves on these were nice. And a cute little coaster with some cactus on it. Made in Italy. You know it is, right? See? Oh, no, made in Mexico. Huh, wrong. And here is a flower frog. For some reason, I, I grabbed these. I don't know why. I think just for 99 cents, it's such a deal. So that was our trip to Robesonia. That's neat with the sailor thing. It's like hand carved. I like that. That's neat, and I like this, too. This is mushroom, oxtail, tomato, onion, and scotch bra. This is cute, tell Flora. It's cute. Oh, there's this one. It's just like fake, fake Czechoslovakian. And then here, look, here's all the, uh, here's all the ducks. And the geese. Those are white ducks. Those are swans. No, it's swans. Those are not swans. Those are white ducks. Yeah, those are geese. Those are geese. Those are geese. This is a chunky zebra. Is there something on there? Oh, are you ready, Mike? Are you giving me a massage? Good thing. And we see a lot of false graph in our area, I think because we are close to York, which is where it was made, if it's still made in York. So I'm just showing you, you could have a whole set of this false graph if you wanted to. Every Goodwill store and thrift store, it's a law. <laughs> These can be found in every, the challenge is going to be find one in, if we can find one in Arkansas. Some Fenton. Aw, that's cute. Hello. Hello. We got that. Nine nine cents. Restaurant wear. Plaza. Hand decorated cosmopolitan. Wellsville, China. Wellsville, Ohio. And then there was a whole nother, oh my gosh, there's one, two, three, two, three, four, holy mud, that's a lot of restaurant saucers, <laughs> they're multiplying, <laughs> that's crazy. Here 
was an ice bucket with some tumblers. The ice bucket and tumblers, they were in good shape, but that ice bucket was super duper heavy. And shipping those would have to go in separate boxes. So too much of a hassle for me. So I left it there. So our buffet continues. This video took about three or four days to make. I didn't, I didn't go to all of the Goodwills in one day. So this is the one in Willow Street. I like this one. This one's my favorite. They usually have some really nice things here. You've seen me shop at this one before. They have changed it up so they have kind of like fancier items towards the front of their hard goods section. And then you can see through the, the display, they have clear glass and baskets. This was nice, and I almost got it, but then I noticed there wasn't a mark. And also, there was some of the blue, what I think was supposed to be enamel. There was some on his, on his leg, or its leg. So I left that there. And then these were some just simple lusterware, New Orleans plates then starting in the white aisle this is the end cap there are these little owls and then above them there was a depiction of the holy family but I didn't like how Mary was just kind of like holding the baby her hand isn't even on the baby so I was being picky so I left it there and let me see what else do I find oh this this uh, shell box I would have loved to have this when I was younger. Look how pretty it is. It did have some shells missing on the front and these make me nervous to ship. So I left that there for somebody else who was just going to take it and enjoy it and not have to wrap it in bubble wrap. <laughs> and then this glass pitcher, I really liked the colors on it. I thought it, I liked the color tones. That was pretty, be perfect for this type of year when it's so hot. A little mug. Look, there are those uh, Fiesta Wear mugs are still there. I picked up this little fish figurine. I thought it was nice. I like the colorways on this as well. And the bottom made me think it was old because it looked old. And then I picked this up because Cat the Nurse Flipper has been um, picking up Kachina dolls. And I thought this was interesting. I even showed it to her and she said she has never seen anything like it. And I do put a tea light in it when I get home. And so I guess you could put a light underneath it. It had no chips or cracks. It does have wear, but I did get a majority of that wear that you see off once I got it home. So I, I did pick that up, and I normally don't pick up Southwestern stuff. But because it was unusual, I thought, well, we'll give it a chance. This, I thought, looked like those green barrel mugs that I had before. But it didn't have the marking. I believe they're McCoy mugs, if I remember correctly. So since it didn't have the marking and it was brown, I left it there. I did pick this up. This was hand painted and it was signed New Oxford PA, which is nearby here. And it had a cute little spaghetti nest that the bunnies were sitting on. And I like the color wave, how it was sprayed across. So that went in my cart. And then I was thinking, stop it. Don't touch that. It's too big. It's too heavy. It could be far and light. No, it's not. Put it back. Put it down gently. Walk away. It's too big. <laughs> and this is the red and orange aisle. Seeing if there's anything new that catches my eye. This I did pick up and you're thinking, why? Well, I like the graphics on it. I like that the directions say that you can spray paint it. I like the hot dog picture on the right where you just like stick hot dogs in the holes. So I thought somebody else might like it too. This caught my eye because Mary Kay, I had a neighbor who used to sell Mary Kay and she tried to always talk me into buying Mary Kay and I was thinking, oh look, you could put on a party dress and drink out of a punch bowl. Uh, this nest, um, I wasn't sure. Then on the back, they have all the seasonal things, and this is a Christmas. I'm always 
hoping that one day I'll walk in and it'll all be Christmas decorations from the 50s and 60s. But right now it's from the 2000s and late 90s. But you never know, so you gotta look, right? I have these glasses for sale currently. I have a set of four or a set of two in my shop. So I thought that was funny. I probably would have picked those up if I didn't already have them for sale. And now we're moving on to another Goodwill and another day. And I first spotted this Peggy Carr Fuse Glass Bowl that the signature is right there, right above the yellow band. And this is an unusual one, hard to find. So I was pretty excited to find this with no chips or cracks. So I did pick that up. And then on their end cap, they have a whole end cap of uh, candles, but there were these two little figurines that were painted in 1977, just some minor chipping on her foot. And so I thought those were very sweet and I liked the bright colors. So I picked those up. And then here is some stained glass. I thought someone in Texas might really like this. And it has a hook that it's ready to hang in your window. And you could even hang something light off that little bottom part. And I'm making sure, what is this made out of? Ah, it's plastic. Put it back. And I took the rose instead. And I couldn't believe it when I went down the clear aisle, I saw another one of these jars. My collection could have been four if only I had picked them up when I first started seeing them. Here is all of the things from all of the days that I uh, went and visited for Goodwills. Thank you again for your continued support, and I really hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching.